So we're going to do two things. We're going to show you how to collect some bugs because you have to have collected some of your own bugs, okay? Um, and we're going to show you from a river outside of town that's in quite good health what different kinds of bugs there are. What we're doing next to the river is that it's not always easy to see how healthy a river is. Sometimes you can't check it out just by looking in. And so what lives in the river all the time are small bugs. They live under stones, they live in amongst the reeds, they even live in the sand and the gravel. And some of those bugs are particularly sensitive and some of those bugs are really tough. And so if the river is no, not healthy, only the tough bugs are there. And if the river is more healthy, you get sensitive bugs as well. So what we were doing was collecting bugs, and then we were putting them into white trays, because then you can see them more easily. We then had sheets which had pictures of the different kinds of bugs. And then we checked to see whether we had sensitive or tough ones in the river we collected from. Uh, the aim first is people to educate people to, to know how what is wrong, what is right for water and also the kids to understand how the water is getting affected, how to check it when it's polluted, all that kind of stuff. Take a tray or something like that that you can fill with water. Then you take a net you go to some plants in a river and you start hitting it at the bottom of the plant and then some come in and then you let it go with water in, in the tray and then if there's a lot of big bugs and that then you can, then you can see that it's good water. But, but if it doesn't have a lot of big bugs, then, then you can see it's not so good.